Hello. It's Wednesday the 21st of October 2015. And we're playing Back to the Future. Uh, yeah, show goals. Telltale Games. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1 18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me! The car! The car! So for those of you wondering why I've been playing this today, hopefully you'll be My a little bit wiser. Are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Twenty first of October, two thousand and fifteen. Is when <laughs> what I tell you? Martin McFly went forward in time and back to the future too. The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Hot ah, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc! You disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler! I sent him into the future! One minute into the future, to be exact! And it precisely... Um, and zero seconds. You beat so your dog in a time machine? And the time machine! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, you... You put your dog in a time machine and have a DeLorean? Way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, <laughs> stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Uh, Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Oh, uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Sarah uh, looks makes him look, look like Michael J. Fox. So, get Doc's notebook. Doc needs his notebook. Walk Marty to the left until you can see Doc's toolbox. So it's uh, an early Telltale game, uh, long before they did The Walking Dead and things like that, but you can see the style still the same. So place the cursor over the toolbox. Notebook, notebook. Got Aha, it. we have a notebook. Flux capacitor? There's flux capacitor. That's it! Huh? What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention, the thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs so not much to do at the moment. to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z. Doc, uh, something's way off here. Ooh, something's different. Twin Pines to Lone Pines. 
duck, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake. Oh. Duck! No! I'm sorry, Marty. Duck, come back! So there is the duck! court I was gonna have to rescue the dog. Get him back. Weird science is posters. Okay? Yeah, Mom. I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. He does. Oh, that's uh Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap! Right. I'm late. Nice little introduction. So, I know very little about this, to be honest, apart from the fact it's the Telltale game, it's episodic. It was done before, like, most of their recent ones. Uh, this was on GOG. So I think I've, I've had it a little for a while. Uh, I've had it for a little while, but I've not actually played it yet. So I thought I would uh, take the opportunity of the fortuitous date to play it. Having not seen the movies in a little while, I don't know quite how accurate any of this is, but... It looks awesome as an introduction to it. It's really setting the scene. Which is something that Telltale Games is pretty good at doing. A state sale. Dad! Are we too late to stop the oh. sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage. Uh. Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Huh. Hey, Marty! Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... So this is the main remembering. issue. That dog's gone. Um, we need to get him back. So what have we got? Dog feeder. Hey, let me... Now, Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. I don't even know if any of the voices are done by the original people or anything like that. Obviously, uh, no can in place to feed the dog. More clocks. Can I walk off to the side? All right, I have to use the cursor keys to walk. Uh, let's see. Town Square model. Let's have a look at that. This takes me through to the other side. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's ah. notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new oh, to on. Oh no, you're not gonna ruin the thing. Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? Huh. <laughs> well, that wasn't even that funny. I don't know why I laughed. That was a joke. Oh, uh, but really, can I? No, I think I'll hold on to it. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Oh, for f Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Brown's to- Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ah. How do they know he's not just gone away on a little holiday? Is it, I know it's, they say it's just been months. They have no idea. 
feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. Um, okay, so mind reading how let's see the jukebox. Hey, oh, let me try Marty. Biff is really annoying me. Now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. You got it, Mr. McFly. Hang on, can I distract Biff? Enough of that junk. Now, Biff. Sorry, Marty. Huh. So I need to somehow distract Biff with the jukebox. Uh, so I need to also distract the dad. I'm assuming. Wow, hey, that's a speaker and a half. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know. Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. Oh, okay. Who's running this? Oh, there's more. That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Oh, you did? Yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? You can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. Not if he doesn't know about it. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly! Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say I can fight my own fights, Dad. About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So okay. can I. Okay. I guess you can. Well, does that mean you'll okay, lay off me? Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. Right. You know where to find me. Uh, exit. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. So I should be able to... Oh, that's hideous. Trying to do that. Uh, be better using the cursor keys. Right. Uh, let's use the jukebox. Wait, I got one. Damn it! Hey, Biff. Um. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. Oh, he's such a dick. I'll pay you for it. How much? Um, Not enough. Oh. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. And then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so oh, bad. God damn it. He is so unbelievably uh, annoying. Um, right. I don't actually know. It's kind of empty without the courthouse. Is that Huey Lewis? Knock off. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Um, right, I've actually no idea. Hey, don't cut off my music! Uh... Let's see. Hey, don't cut off my music! No, he just... I actually have no idea what to do next. I can't believe I was stuck at the first. Ah, let's try the guitar. Hey, Dad, wh why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. 
Okay. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Okay, let's try the amplifier controls. Let's make some noise. Right. So we've turned it all the way up to 11. Ah, no, it's not 11, but still. Right, inventory. Plug it in. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Oh, he's such a knobhead. Let me show you how oh, it's God. done. Oh, God. It's so loud. Oh, God. Now, watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. There we go. Rock That's on, it. Biff. That's it solved. Oh, and now Biff's out of action. I can get the notebook. Boom. First puzzle solved. Uh, Doc, where are you? More like, when are you? Oh, here we go. Here's Doc. Or is it? Could it be that easy? Search for clues as to Doc's whereabouts. Right, let's have a look. Let's open the car door. Doc? And... Is it just a dog? Oh, for God's sake, just get on with it. Stop bringing the tension up. Come from boy, didn't you bring Doc with you? Oh, okay, so now we need to just need to find out when or how Einstein has affected the past and then we can get an idea of why Doc disappeared. There's a shoe, a handheld tape recorder, time circuit. I can circuit use display. those to enter a date into the time circuits. Okay, okay, let's Doc, have a look at the I shoe. I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Right. And let's try the tape recorder. Marty? Ah, it's Doc. Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now. There we go. Or, uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, come to my rescue in the past. Or oh, was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back or, or forward to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure what? you'll know what to do. That's oh, it? for God's sake. Aren't you going to tell me when that is? That's ridiculous. Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark, last time departed. Good luck. Right. Right, right. Last time departed. Last time departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Crap. Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Oh. Damn it. I can use those to enter a date into the time oh, no, circuits. no. Once I know when... Right, okay. What else do I have? Let's investigate Einstein. Let's see if he can maybe help. There might be a clue on him. Einstein. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Nope. That's a fat lot of use that was. Can I get on the back end of it? Uh, nope, this is going to take me inside. Huh. What am I doing? Right, well, I figured out the last one. Oh, God, I didn't mean to do that. 
I didn't actually mean to fall out the DeLorean again. Right, there might be something in his notebook. Because we did pick up his notebook, so there could be something in there. Let's have a look at the inventory. Um, highlight the photo of George McFly. And click the examine. I keep this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow okay. up to be pretty cool guys. Right, let's try this the shoe. Examine the shoe. shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Uh, I wonder if um, I, I could use the shoe with Einstein. Oh. Damn these fiendish puzzles. What do you know about this shoe, Aini? Okay. Great Scott! I think he's onto something. Right. We have something. This reminds me of The Simpsons now. Okay. Every time now I see something like that, this reminds me of the opening. Oh, this okay. Is supposed to lead me to Doc, Aini. Well, for that, you'll need to play the game and find out. But already, it seems interesting. It's, it's very much a point-and-click adventure. It seems not so much entrenched in the decisions and the possible tra different tracks that you tend to get with the Telltale game nowadays. It's very much more in the traditional point-and-click kind of way, where it's a puzzle you have to solve and it leads you on to the next area. Just for my initial impressions, um, the voice acting is pretty good. The game does feel a bit slow, but... Yeah, I'm sure it'll get more interesting as you get into it. So, on this uh, 21st of October, thank you very much. And if you've still got time, go watch one of the films. They're all good. Until next time, goodbye.